Time for some political nuts. Trump won the election, they lost. And now, instead of being responsible people, being upfront people, owning up to their mistakes, owning up to what they did wrong, nope, they blame you and everything under the sun for why they lost the elections. They have reasons why they lost the election. Nothing to do with them, it's all your fault. So without further ado, let's see one of them so-called experts how they blame everything under the sun on why they lost the election. Let's hear it. I think part of what Donald Trump did is that he leaned into a lot of the institutionalized misogyny as a way to try to neutralize her her effectiveness. So she was a super effective speaker, really galvanized voters in a really important way. And what the Trump campaign did, and I think ultimately they were able to, was they uh, flooded the internet with over-sexualized images of her. They spread lies about her romantic history, and they attacked her husband, too. Flooded with over-sexualized images of her. Where? Please don't show it. Bury it. Please. I don't want to see it. Oh, wait. There aren't any. You're safe. No worries. We're good. What else? Effective speaker? You must be joking. Let's hear some effective speaking. Record inflation, the worst in 30 years. OPEC didn't increase oil production. Can you tell us a little bit about how you would prevent the, the new spending and your Build Back Better agenda from exacerbating the problem? And also, what else are you going to do to fix this problem with inflation? All right, thank you. Well, let's start with this. Prices have gone up, and families and individuals are dealing with the realities of, of the, that bread costs more, that gas costs more. The fact that there are people that listen to these people, it only goes to show that there are wacky people for wacky people. Blue to blue, red to wet, it really doesn't matter. You can find people for all types of people. It's just these types of people seem to share the same common denominator. They're all idiots. They spread lies about her romantic history and they attacked her husband too, right? They made, they sort of did a full court press on the institutionalized misogyny that mm -hmm. is very much a part of American life. Her lying dial to 9,000 being so outrageous, it's actually funny. About this lady, it's just a matter of time before she joins other nut jobs that now started shaving their heads, not kidding, as a form of protest. Why? Because they reckon that by becoming unattractive, they stop giving it up to men. Let's hear it. Just woke up this morning feeling spicy. You guys feel spicy? Because I do. Alright. I don't know how to use this thing. Let's see what happens. Stop dating men. Stop having sex with men. Stop talking to men. Divorce your husbands, leave your fucking boyfriends, leave them. I've literally broken up with a man because he voted for Trump. Thank God, lady. You won't be missed. You and the other bunch. These people are so delusional, it's actually funny content to watch, depending on the type of view. Think about it. A middle-aged woman living in the West, no wars, with a home, with utilities, with food, good lighting, with a phone, with a machine she can barely use because she's a moron, and she actually makes time in a day during her day to make a video protesting about her rights. About her responsibilities? Well, it seems that none of these people share responsibilities. They don't want to share with the world the responsibilities they have. It's all about their rights. Me, 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 me. You know, main character syndrome. Thank you. Just know it's Elon. I know it's Elon Musk. I know that barrel-chested bitch has something to do with all... He's behind it. I swear to God. I swear to God. Listen, I don't have logic. I don't have evidence. I don't have facts. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. You know, if you actually try to understand where people are coming from, even delusional people like these cases that we are making fun of, it's actually interesting trying to reckon where they're coming from. But I can't seem to gather any sort of reasoning on why these people are doing this other than gathering attention. They're attention seekers, that's all it is. And, obviously, they think you are a moron. They think everyone else is an idiot. 
And whenever anyone challenges their beliefs, notice how they become triggered. Well, first of all, it's so it takes someone five minutes to Google Jake Tapper, Donald Trump to see that Jake Tapper has Ma'am, consistently stopped this interview if you're going to keep President attacking Trump my colleagues. Adolf Hitler. Ma'am, I, I, I'm going to stop no, this interview I'm, if you I'm continue stating, to attack my colleagues. I would like to talk about I Joe Biden stating, and Donald Trump, who you work for. Yes. If you are here indeed, to speak on his behalf, and I, I will willing to have this conversation. I am stating facts that your colleagues have stated in the past. Okay. Now, uh, as I'm for sorry, this guys. Debate, We're going to come back out to the panel. For, Caroline, thank the you expectation. very much for your time. You are welcome to come back at any point. She is welcome. They hold the moral ground. So whenever anyone has a different point of view, they become triggered. Like this douchebag. Let's hear it. I think there are a lot of families out there who don't believe boys should play girls sports they're not boys uh, no, 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 i'm not no, going to no, listen no, to transphobia no, at this table i am not, not going to listen to you call a trans girl a boy are you going to allow me to finish my explanation when you use a word that's a slur i'm going to interrupt that's not how it is they're not boys they're not boys notice how the guy doesn't even let him finish his sentence they're not playing girls softball i'm not going to sit there and listen for a second because i look this is a really heated issue, mm-hmm. right? And Chair Michael, I know you. I know that you understand that people have different views on this. I think out of respect for Jay, like, let's try to talk about this in a way that is respectful. The host is even more hilarious. It's like, I'm superior. You are superior. We know ourselves very well. Let's hear the idiots talk because this is a controversial issue. See how these people behave when you have a different point of view other than theirs. This is a textbook case of cognitive dissonance. Okay, so let, let me rephrase this since I'm being targeted here. I, I don't think no, 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 it's okay. You are not it's, being oh, But targeted. I am, but it's okay. I, I'm specifically it's saying okay. that I know that you are not intending to be transphobic. He should know that but, I'm not. But, but he wants but to I sit want here. They don't want to hear it because they must be right. See, they hold the moral ground over you. Everyone is an idiot. Other than themselves, obviously. Send a quick message to all the the pollsters, the ele- election pollsters. Um, <laughs> me. I don't ever want to <laughs> from you again, ever. I don't ever want to hear. We've corrected for the overcorrection. You don't know <laughs> about. <laughs> and I. Don't care for you. Don't worry, we don't care about you either. You know that saying, you have two ears, you have one mouth, but these people seem to work the other way around. So a question that you actually might ask these people is, how can you listen and speak at the same time? See, intelligent people hold a different point of view. They're good listeners. This is not the case. These are idiots and should be treated as such. We can see how Donald Trump won by a landslide because he's willing to listen to people. The thing though, it's, what a, he said. it's a huge thing. So how is your rent been? So where was it like five years ago, the rent? I mean, the rent was significant, significantly lower. Um, now it's, uh, it's gone up about 1,200 since. Yeah, uh, it's okay, it's, it's a big and increase. It, my issue was more uh, the energy. I've been paying 2,100 since I first opened up. In the last seven months, it shot up to fifteen thousand. What? It's fifteen thousand, and that's you went from twenty one hundred to fifteen thousand in this establishment. Yeah. How many heads can you can you take care of? That's that's I a mean, lot. Crazy. Right? It's like yeah. so much stealing. It was really from last. So when from twenty one hundred to fifteen thousand, and then you have all these people, the so called celebrities. You know the people they are superior. They are much better than most people because they are celebrities. Well, the issue with these celebrities now is that they are also throwing a tantrum. All of them, they are now saying they're going to leave the country. Will Donald Trump be our next president? (laughs) If that mother becomes president, I move my black ass to South Africa. And I need to coming to your country if you'll let me in or Canada. I already told you what I'm doing if he becomes president. I'm moving to Canada. Me and Drake gonna be neighbors if Donald Trump becomes president. Listen, if he wins, he won't have to worry about immigration. Well, I'll go back. I would consider getting in a rocket and going to another planet. Maybe it's time for me to move. And what's you know? wrong with being PC? No, 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 but you know, I can, listen, I can afford to go. No worries, you won't be missed. 
I hope you enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe and click that notification bell so you'll know when I make more videos like this. Peace.